we just got the Front That Was banner in Global, featuring Mudrock, Sailage and Horn as our 6 stars, Whisperain, Mulberry and Rockrock Rock as our 5 stars, and Jackie, Roberta and Chestnut as our 4 stars. Before we get to the banner itself, make sure to support my channel by liking, commenting and subscribing. It really means a lot to me. I would also like to point out that I only talk about this operator's gameplay. Waifus and husbandos over Maida any day. You should always pull for operators you want and like instead of listening to me. I am not your dad. And then let's get to the banner itself. This is a special banner and the featured 6 stars are the only 6 stars you can get from the banner. It also means that this is an incredibly valuable banner as all of the featured 6 stars are incredibly strong. I think this banner is even more valuable than the upcoming Texas Alter banner if you do not already own any of these featured 6 stars. However, I completely understand and approve if you want to save for Texas Alter or any other feature limited banner instead. Let's move on to the operators. Starting with Horn, a fortress defender who prioritizes dealing ranged damage when not blocking enemies. She also gives all defender operators extra attack, and when she is defeated for the first time, she instead recovers to reduced max HP and gains attack and defense buffs. The second talent provides a nice DPS boost when procced, but also makes Horn pretty squishy. Moving on to her skills. Horn's second and third skill have an overdrive effect, which means that they gain some extra effects halfway through the skill's duration. Horn's first skill is a low SP cost auto triggering boost to her next attack and leaving behind a zone that reveals invisible enemies. While invisible enemies are pretty rare, the skill has some nice value for AFK Knights enjoyers as it has pretty decent AoE damage. Her second skill makes her attacks deal extra damage and has an overdrive effect that makes her attacks deal some extra AoE arts damage. If you manually cancel the skill, Horn will shoot all the remaining bullets and loses a large portion of her HP. While mixed damage isn't usually optimal, the second skill provides a massive nuke on demand. Outside of having to deal a massive burst of damage, the second skill has the least uses out of Horn's skill. And then finally, we have her third skill. That gives her an attack boost and makes her attack a lot faster. When the third skill overdrives, Horn gains even more attack and gradually loses a percentage of her HP. The third skill has extremely high DPS that rivals even the highest DPS skills in the game. As long as you can keep targets within her range, Horn can shred through pretty much everything and anything. Downside of the skill obviously being the HP loss and having to keep targets in her range for the skill's duration or at least the overdrive duration. Third skill will be Horn's go-to skill for most situations. Let's have a quick summary. Horn is a defender who prioritizes range attacks when not blocking. She is very versatile and unusually tanky for such a high DPS operator. Her first skill is great for AFK knights, second skill is overall weakest but provides massive burst on demand and third skill provides absolutely massive DPS. Outside of AFK knights, third skill will probably be the most used one. She loses a lot of her DPS if she has to block enemies and her strange range might be a bit hard to utilize in some stages. She also needs enemies to stay in her range to maximize her DPS output. Overall, Horn is a must-have operator. She is incredibly versatile unit that can deal massive amounts of DPS while also being extremely tanky. Her odd range and maximizing her overdrive effect might take a while to get used to and she might need some help from your other operators to deal with the HP loss and keeping the enemies in her range. Let's move on to Mudrock, an enmity defender who cannot be directly healed by allies. Her talent allows her to gain a stacking shield that restores a fair amount of HP when broken. She also takes less damage from Sarkas enemies. Her stacking shield talent makes her extremely good against slow but hard hitting enemies. Let's take a look at her skills. Her first skill is a simple defense up with fairly high uptime. Realistically, you will never be using this skill 
outside of some incredibly rare situations where you need much of tank ranged enemies, as the other skills just provide so much more value. Her second skill is a low SP cost auto triggering damage boost to her next attack, also making it AoE, heal Matrog and have a chance to stun. This is Matrog's easier to use skill and will often be her go to skill. It's also an incredible skill for AFK Knights enjoyers. It allows Matrog to self heal, deal good damage and CC enemies, making her a very good and self sufficient lane holder and a duelist. And finally, we have her third skill, that makes her stop attacking and immune to damage for 10 seconds, while also inflicting a powerful slow to nearby enemies. After those 10 seconds, Matrox stuns all nearby enemies, attacks faster, gets an attack boost and a defense boost, and attacks up to 3 targets within her range. This skill does so many things and can be a bit tricky to use effectively. It has pretty good uptime and is most useful as crowd control kind of supporting ability, but it also has fairly strong dueling and wave clearing potential. Let's have a quick summary. Matrog is a very tanky and high DPS defender, but cannot be directly healed by allies. She gains a stacking shield that allows her to tank slow hitting enemies forever. She also has lots of crowd control and is very versatile and self-sufficient. Her third skill can be a bit tricky to use and she is fairly weak against fast attacks and arts damage. Overall, Matrog is a must-have operator. She is incredibly tanky, versatile and self-sufficient. She can completely trivialize some stages and bosses. She is an insanely valuable lane holder slash duelist and works fine even before E2. And then we have Sailage, a flag vanguard who cannot block enemies during her skill duration. She deploys with a banner that gives nearby allies some attack speed while also reducing nearby enemies attack speed. The next operator deployed after her will have reduced DP cost. Moving on to her skills. Sailage's first skill generates 18 DP over the skill's duration. It provides fast DP generation but nothing else. It can be used when you don't need anything else except DP from Sailage, which is going to happen surprisingly often. Her second skill generates 20 DP over 15 seconds and throws her banner, the lowest HP percentage unit within the skills range, granting them defense and some healing. In my opinion, the second skill is clearly Sailage's weakest skill. The DP generation is slower than the first skill and the extra utility just isn't going to be enough outside of some very rare cases. It can be nice for keeping some operators alive before you can deploy your medics, but even then, it would most likely be better to generate DP faster with the first skill or providing more offensive utility and CC with the third skill. And then finally, we have her third skill, that immediately generates 10 DP and throws the banner to an enemy within the skills range, dealing AoE physical damage and inflicting a fairly long duration AoE stun. The enemies in the surrounding 8 tiles of the banner will also be inflicted with a slow and fragile effect. Their skill provides the least DP but also lots of very valuable utility. It's a great offensive skill with amazing CC. Sadly it has very low DP generation for a flag vanguard and fairly limited range. It can be used when additional utility is needed and when you plan on keeping Sailage deployed. Let's have a quick summary. Sailage is a flag vanguard with lots of additional utility. Her first skill provides raw DP, second skill defensive utility and third skill offensive utility and crowd control. Second skill seems to be the weakest skill and the extra DP you could get from first skill won't be worth sacrificing over the small utility gain. The third skill provides very valuable CC and offensive utility, but provides the least DP, which isn't ideal for a flag vanguard. Utilizing her second and third skill is going to be a lot harder than using the first skill, or using lower rarity DP generators. Overall, Sailage is a good operator. She provides very valuable utility and DP generation. Sadly, she often has to choose between utility or DP generation. 
finally, let's take a quick look at the 5 stars. While Mulberry and Whisperain are good medics, and Rockrock Rock is a fine caster, I cannot recommend ten pulling, as all of these operators have comparable or better free or lower rarity alternative. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more Arknights content. See you in the next video.